Hello, I'm... Fuck. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to this week's Indie Time. Uh, today we're going to be playing uh, some Path of Exile. Actually, it's just going to be a little playthrough, just showing you around a bit. It's going to be more like a review this week than a Let's Play. And I'm with a friend that I've just clicked on the NPC by accident. Ah, uh, great. Well, I'm with a friend and he's a lot more higher level than me. He actually introduced me to this game. So, yeah. Hi. Yes. <laughs> um so far the game's been great like um the interface seems to be pretty simple uh the tutorial was pretty informative even if it's just like not a proper tutorial level it was just like dialogue just showing and pointing at the different different parts of the interface going oh yeah this is what this does this is what that does and before you know it um you know how to play the game but um the thing is about this game it really keeps you on a tip on your toes like if you don't keep your health up you can die very quickly and easily so and um, there is actually some pros and cons I'd like to go through so NPCs when they uh, like a normal MMO when NPCs uh, complete a quest you get a reward so um, I might not actually do a quest just go around exploring stuff killing stuff um, the aim of the game is generally to kill the things <laughs> 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 um, kill everything. Yes. Run it with fire. And um, it's it's relatively easy to get a hang of. Um, some pros. Um, I've covered most of that. Um, as I said before, there's an easy like it's a straightforward storytelling. Um, there is some open world and there is some bits where you can get lost, but most of the time it's pretty linear. Um, some cons is when I die. I've died several times, and I know several times I keep accidentally going back to the town. Um, if there was a way to make the buttons like maybe fade for like a second or two before it lets you click it, so you don't accidentally press it like straight away, because that would be really creative. Like that would be a really good way to. I mean, I did suggest before that maybe it should ask if you would turn, but. That might be a little bit annoying and tedious, so just waiting for one second would stop you from clicking the wrong button. Um, it'd be like sort of like a little penalty as well, so it kind of makes sense. So I'm just killing ah. some monkeys here, and occasionally when you go around, you see these strong boxes, and when you get to when you open a strong box, a group of uh, enemies will you. spawn, and um, I'm not too great at this game. <laughs> In all honesty, but um, yeah, this game was um, created by a New Zealand uh, games group. So, grinding gear games. So I reckon, yeah, yeah, that's it. Also, another con is that um, the loading screen is horrifically slow at when you first start up the game. Everything else seems to be relatively quick, but when you load up the game, it could take anything from up to one to five minutes. But that just might be my computer, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, it happens to mine as well, so... Okay, fair enough, so it seems to be an actual game issue then. Um, um, but yeah, there's actually occasionally when you go on quest, you might see these random NPCs and they will actually... Um, they will appear and disappear. Um, and you usually doing the quest... Um, means more leveling up and that's also another aim of the game leveling up killing all the things <laughs> so the act is a, a sort of random event yeah random you event a little special quest um, directly related to that NPC and then later on you'll be able to buy stuff from them yeah depending on how many of your their quests you've done but yeah there's these mini bosses in each area which is nice um, oh, well, why don't you walk them through um, your character because if Oh yeah, yeah. Um, characters have gotten this. Uh, my character. Well, my character is a Templar, isn't it? Yes. And I call it Audric, and you can call them names and stuff. And um, there is actually different modes where you can um, where you, uh, different modes where you can have like the hardcore mode, the standard mode, 
and it might it might change the way leveling up works or health works and mana regen works it's just but I'm currently playing on standard mode because um, that's easiest I suppose um, and I'm new to the game so I don't see why not to play on easiest mode Mm-hmm. And I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> well, um, well, your guy, well, your guy is a um, is half. So you should probably explain about the um, the three different traits that your ca- character. Oh, of course, it's um intelligence and um, is it ent- intelligence, strength, and not is it not dex? Is it? It's, it's dexterity. Yes. Yeah, it's dexterity. dexterity. Um, yeah. So it's 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 three of those, and um, I know Jared actually has. Um. Uh, what 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 is your character got? It's a witch. It's intelligence based. So there are yeah. six classes. Yeah. There's the Templar, which you are. The witch, which I am. Uh, the Marauder, the Ranger, Shadow, and Duelist. I know the Marauder is completely strength. Yep. So he's your big tank. Uh, yeah. You're half strength, half intelligence. Yeah. And I'm full intelligence, and then the Ranger is the Dex one. So we just continue on to the crossroads, just for the hell yeah, of it. Yeah, let's pop that. And then, um, uh, depending on where, where, which, one, which character you pick is where you start in the skill tree. You might want to show that as well. Yeah. Because that's a pretty big thing. It's like, that's, that thing's huge. Yeah, um, when you actually, this, also this game is completely free. So, um, there's no, you don't have to pay to level up or pro- set progress in the game, but if you want to, like, get cosmetic stuff, there is microtransactions for that, but again, it's not compulsory. It's just a, a side feature sort of thing, and really just lets your character show off. What you're about to see is probably the most biggest uh, skill tree you've ever seen in, in, in your entire life, because it's pretty big. <laughs> um, there's multiple to- like multiple paths you can do with this skill tree. Like you can go across mana regeneration, life, strength, strength. Uh, more strength, and then you could go to like sanctity, sanctity, um, sanctity. I don't, I don't know how to say that. Um, uh, the big ones, the big orb things, uh, massive changes, like more significant changes to your character, and the smaller ones are just little um, changes. And um, occasionally, when you level up or you get a reward from an NPC, you get passive skill points, which you can use to level, uh, to add to your skill tree. Um, you also get refund points which um, allows you to uh, refund your um, points if you didn't want to go down that direction and you wanted to uh, maybe go a different direction and see if that actually works better for you. But so far I haven't had any issue. Um, but yeah, the quests do get intensive. Like, if you get swamped in skeletons no no doubt you probably will die and um, luckily there is actually um, a checkpoint system where if you enter an area enter an area or you reach a certain part of the area it will respawn you nearby and you don't have to walk all that way back which some MMOs make you do and it's a bit of a pain in the ass because it's very repetitive and there's no change speaking of change some areas do change um, sometimes a bit, which is kind of great because that way there's some sort of it's not so repetitive. It's so like how do I say? It's more variety. There's more replay value. Yeah, there's more replay value. Yeah. Um, so um, uh, the areas are the the, the sort of the, the more general aspects will stay the same. Like the waypoint will generally be in the same spot, and all the different entrances, yeah. different areas will be the same. But you'll find that all the trees and the edges and the bits between the walls all around, and all that every time you go through it. Yeah. Um, luckily, mini maps here, which I only found out about halfway once I started playing this game. Like I didn't know about it till I was at least into Act Two. So, <laughs> um, which is a bit unfortunate because now I can make my way around easier, much easier. There is actually uh, some nice little areas like here. Um, the art style is pretty good. I must say it's pretty it's pretty um fantasy. Mm. Very dark fantasy. Yeah. You've got bits of lore scattered around like here. Yeah. They come back into the room. Uh, these two here. Yeah, and if you they, click they on tell it, a story in the area. You can yeah, scroll anyway. through and it will tell you the stuff. Got a nice voice acting. Yeah. I think it's like 
mix of New Zealand, English, and Australian, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's one guy who turns up um, at some point who has, well, what I thought was a very Australian accent, but like a proper one, rather than a... Yeah. Like, one. That was very funny. It's okay. always, like, too good to have a mix of a- accents, so it sort of, like, makes you feel like you're actually in the world, and it's like, no... It's like, they're not just using the same sort of accents, <laughs> if you know what I mean. The waypoint, the way, the little waypoint area is actually quite um, nice. Like, there's no, you can't teleport directly to players. You can't, you have to travel between places through waypoint, which is different to another, to the regular MMO, isn't it? So, um, there's also no money. It's completely item trading, which is also pretty cool. Um, the yeah, only money that's, that's involved is for the, again the microtransactions. So and that's real money. Yeah. There's, um, no, there's no in-game currency. Like, yeah. Um, you don't collect gold when you yeah. get chests. You get things. You get scrolls and rings and orbs and stuff, which all have uses. But you yeah. can then trade for other stuff. And the actual um, main one of the I think the biggest mechanic of the game is where if you enter an area, it will it will always be a separate instance to everyone else. So in a way, it's more single player than it is multiplayer because it's. Um, you're entering it in an instance, but the game is actually designed so you can just do the whole game on your own, but it's easy, obviously, with a party. So when um, when other people uh, join your instance, it's just for your party only. Like It's not for public, which is really good. And um, I think once you leave the instance, it resets. Or if you stay in the instance, I think about after half an hour to an hour, it will reset and all the monsters will respawn again. So you could, in a way, keep grinding your monsters again and again and again and keep leveling up, which is really yeah, good. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's, well, that's really that's easy way to do it. That's why we haven't seen anyone running around here. There's, there's no other player characters in this instance. It's just a few yeah. people, so you and me. Um, it's not because the game is empty and unpopular, <laughs> generally <laughs> speaking. Um, but yeah, all these. What he's got here is um, just all these zombie, like yeah, I, Walking Dead, story. The Walking Dead, pretty much. Um, literally The Walking Dead. Um, and I know we. It's pretty cool, like with the Q W E R T, um, things. Uh, you can actually do powers and numbers for the potions to health regen, and most of your stuff you pick up from monsters or they drop when you kill them off so like what, you can just click on it and it'll go in your inventory there's actually all these little things called skill gems where if you put them into like a piece you have it will go towards your special skills so um it should activate the special skill it comes with and um or if it, if it is a special skill and um you can ass- a a- assign it to a key or a mouse button what you've got with the skill yeah. gems, those are all your active skills. Um, yeah. So in, so your attack skills, your auras, your buffs, your minion summoning, that's all active skills. And they you those you pick up. And you can actually use any skill as any character and any piece of armor. And you can turn any character into any type of build. It just takes a different amount of points. Um, you slot the skill gems into your armor uh, in a socket of the right color, and you can use them. And then yeah. as you use them or have them on you, they level up. So that big passive skill tree you were looking at before, that is entirely passive. Passive. Yeah, this guy can explain things better than I can. <laughs> there's also a nice little feature is that the way that things level up is always balanced. Like there's not, and there's no OP-ness to it. So like, um, depending on how you level up, if you get an item that um, is a higher level than you, you can't wear it until you reach that level. Mm. Um, there's also a balance where if you have a skill gem on you and you can't, and if the skill gem, if you're not a high enough level to up to level up the skill gem, then it won't let you level up the skill gem, of course. So that's a nice little bit of balancing. If we want to go find a, um, an area boss or something and go fight that, maybe we could do that. Yeah. Yep. Um, what's the area bosses in this area? Uh, we could go to. Oh, let's let's go up to the broken bridge. Yeah. And uh, attack that um that um. Uh, the bandit leader there. Yeah. He's in here, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is Act Two of Four. It should yeah. be noted. And most of the areas have a uh, you know different monsters and different themes. Uh, Items. On the on the other side of the encampment, there's a there's an area that's full of drop bears, which is hilarious. Drop bears. Good Australian reference. Yeah. 
Got the drop hate. bears are technically koalas, aren't they? Well, more aggressive koalas. <laughs> these are drop bears, which is amusing to me. But yeah, the whole thing has has a lot of it's it's got a lot of influence all, all over. I mean, the um, Karui, which is a which is what the Marauder is, are very obviously based on the Maori from New Zealand. But um, a lot of the setting feels very. Uh, Somewhere between. I like how your zombie just walks. Ac yeah, it's just your zombie just walks across to the waypoint. It's like I want to get on the waypoint. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh, they're so much uh, fun. If one of them gets damaged um, too much, they'll explode, which is fantastic. So we've already fought the bandit leader before, so I'm guessing we can just go back and keep fighting it again and again and again. Yeah, you can just you go in, you talk to him. All the bosses respawn, so you can grind bosses if you want. There oh, I didn't even choose if I could kill him or not. I oh, just... you don't get to choose again. It's already set. Oh. Well, I just summon a bunch of minions. I like how they just keep coming back to life. Like, it's just... It's hilarious, because you just kill them again and again and again, and they just never learn. <laughs> Those it's are your skeletons, aren't they? The, if the, um... If the boss is the one that'll drop the really good item or whatever, you can just come back later and kill it again and yeah. again and again. Are those your skeletons? Oh uh, yeah, these ones. Yeah, of course that's, so. the that's the zombies and that's the skeleton. But yeah, you can actually see what each item does if you hover over them and the, it will actually show you on the, like all the colored dots are actually the skill gem slots it can take, so. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty straightforward interface. I like it. It's just generally, yeah, okay. Well, this is what this needs. I don't know if I want this or that. So, it's not. You're not spending hours like choosing what you want to wear or not. So, it's just generally. Oh yeah, I've got this. Or this is weaker than mine or whatever. But yeah, if we go back to the waypoint, I'm just showing you a waypoint system. We can go easily back to the forest encampment, which is the city for this act. Um, the main town. It's not really a city, it's more of a town. Sort of saying village. Um, it's not even a village really, it's just a base. Um, but yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Um, I reckon it's I reckon it's worth a good play for anyone who really likes MMOs. Um, yeah, it's free. It looks very yeah. pretty. It plays well. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been David from Pants Without Pockets and Jared. From oh. nowhere, <laughs> <laughs> from, <laughs> from Antarctica, <laughs> from Antarctica, yep, sure. and um, uh, <laughs> and uh, they, uh, just subscribe to the channel. Really greatly supports the channel. Like, comment, share, that sort of stuff. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Catch you later, guys. Bye bye.